So again, that's neuro, neuroplasticity is the way I, the way we can do it because you're literally changing the neural pathways. You're changing the neurons that fire and wire together. And when you change the habit through neuroplasticity, it's a lot easier than changing the habit just by trying to do it with thought and action. Essentially, it's much easier for the uh, neural pathways to uh, uh, eliminate the synapse that's between them, the neurotransmitter, and then that neurotransmitter is used on another neural pathway. That process is called synaptogenesis, and that's what happens when you create a new neural pathway. So instead of thinking about breaking habits, what you're doing is layering on new habits, and the old habits die away because the synapse is gone. Simple way of saying, and the neuroscientists might explain it differently in books and volumes on this. So just a quick example, I, you know, you're moving along and we have this zone, we have an upper limit and we have a, a lower limit and we kind of bounce off that ceiling. We've been trying to clear through that ceiling. We've been trying to start selling and it's a challenge or we, we've worked on, on hiring a general manager and it's, it's a challenge and it just happens over and over and maybe you give up. But when you start meditating, what you'll notice is your lows get higher lows get higher, but you're not seeing any progress on the top. And eventually you can break through. Just one as a way to think about what's going on. So even though while you're meditating in the beginning, you may not be seeing much of a change, you have to stay with 